Dear students, in this video, let us learn about intersecting lines and transversal. Both are formed by when you have two or more lines, you can get intersecting lines or you can get a transversal. Let us see what they are. Intersecting lines. See, you take two lines, say one line naming L and another line naming M. If they meet at a point, say O, then these two lines L and M are intersecting lines. So, the main thing is two lines must meet at a point then the lines are intersecting lines the next thing is the point at which the two lines meet that is called point of intersection now in this in this case o is the point of intersection so the point at which Two lines meet is called the point of intersection. So, this is the point of intersection. This is how intersecting lines are. Now, let us see what is a transversal so suppose you have two lines l m and you have one more line passing through both of these lines let this line be n then the line n is the transversal for lines L and M. The lines L and M need not always be parallel. They can be non-parallel. So they can be even like this L, M and N. So in case of transversal, what you have to remember is there, uh, there are two points of intersection. The transversal cuts the given lines at two points. First thing is line which cuts the other two lines is called transversal. And the transversal cuts the transversal cuts the given lines at two different points see in intersecting lines you have only one point of intersection and in transversal you will have two points of intersection one point at the first line another point of intersection in the second line now let us see what are the different angles which is made by a transversal when it cuts the two given lines. So the different kinds of angles that are formed are interior angles, exterior angles, corresponding angles, this comes in pairs, alternate interior angles which also comes in pairs, alternate exterior angles which comes in pairs 
and interior angles on the same side of the transversal which also comes in pairs. Now let us see which are the interior angles formed. So here you have two lines. Let us mark them. L, M and N. So when the transversal cuts the given two lines, you will have eight angles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have named it to understand which are the different angles formed. Now let us see what are interior angles. See here angles 3, 4, 5 and 6. They are closed. See you have two lines which is covering them. So these four are interior angles. So the interior angles are angle 3, angle 4, angle 5 and angle 6. See you have them surrounded here. So you these 3, 4, 5 and 6 are interior angles. Now when you see 1, 2, 7 and 8 they are open. There, there is nothing to close them. So 1, 2, 7 and 8 are exterior angles. Angle 1, angle 2, angle 7 and angle 8. They are open, openly placed. So they are exterior angles. Now let us see what are corresponding angles. Now when you say corresponding angles, say it, uh, see here, you have a L here, you have a L here. So one pair will be 1 and 5, angle 1 and angle 5. Another set of uh, corresponding angles will be angle 2 and angle 6. Angle 6. Next pair will be angle 3 and angle 7. Angle 3 and angle 7. The last pair will be angle 4 and angle 8. So this is how you get corresponding angles. So corresponding angles always lie on the same side of transversal and they will be at different vertices, not at the same vertices or not at the same point of intersection. Now let us see what are alternate interior angles. So which are interior angles 3, 4, 5 and 6. Alternate means they lie on either side of transversal. So, this is one side, this is one more side. Interior angles alternate. So, 3 and 6, they are one pair of alternate angles. Angle 4 and angle 5, they lie on either side of the transversal. So this is the transversal. They are on lie on either side. So, angle 4 and angle 5 are alternate interior angles. Now what are alternate exterior angles? So which are the exterior angles? 1, 2, 7 and 8. Alternate means they must lie on either side of the both sides of transversal. So angle 1 and angle 8. Angle 1 and angle 8 and the second pair will be angle 2 and angle 7. interior angles on the same side of the transversal. So which are the interior angles on same side angle 3 and angle 5. Interior angles are 3, 4, 5, 6 that we have written here. So on same side it is 3 and 5. Angle 3 and angle 5. On the right side it is angle 4 and angle 6. So main points to remember uh, in case of this uh, alternate and corresponding angles is corresponding angles
lay on same side of the transversal and uh, alternate angles lay on either side of the transversal so alternate angles lie on either side of the transversal thank you